our variable costs and our fixed costs um, and our uh, gross profit margins which will be really helpful so I can understand what parts of my business are profitable, what we should be focusing on doing more of and what we should be doing less of. So yeah, so far quite a, quite a few good points. 100% is the cash flow and how to do a cash flow forecast. Um, I think that's the biggest thing I could learn from today, but also um, working out what our break-even point is um, and being able to manage the business on a, a much more day-to-day -day basis rather than hope at the end of the month that we're hitting targets. Most businesses don't actually know what their break-even point is and uh, we'll have to do and go over our one just to make sure it's being done, but you need to make sure your book works up to date. Uh, the cash flow, the um, balance sheet, and I really like the idea of the um, computerised worksheets that we're going to be doing. Uh, the cash flow projection is one that definitely will, uh, because I am at the moment juggling week to week, and it's like I well, it was until today, like I had a blindfold on. It's uh, learning to read uh, loss and profit and the balance sheet. Looking at, exactly now, looking at exactly where we need to look at to see how the business is actually going. Before working with Zephyr, probably um, just looked at it at a very surface level, um, didn't really analyse much of it, but Stefan's really helped uh, me develop a better understanding of what's coming in, what's going out, and how we can implement that. Mm -hmm. Um, making sure that you know we, we're accounting for that within um, cash flows, so that we're never hitting a hard a hard spot. You know, if we're if we're paying out for something on day one of the month and we're not going to get paid back till day ten, we need to make sure that ten day cash gap is accounted for and we have the funds to, to float it. Uh, it will allow me to sleep better at night uh, by not having uncertainty and knowing that. Uh, I'm covered during lean times. Uh, I think my business will receive uh, massive changes because I uh, I will be able to stick to my budgets and to 80% certainly know what's going to come through. It will make me hungrier and yes, it will be a very good thing. I, and my other staff member too, I'm a very competitive person mm -hmm. and my other staff member who is the other sales girl, she thrives on, on figures and making budgets and I think it will be a really effective tool for me. business and you're very consumed by what's going on day to day that seeing the big picture yourself is not always doable and what I thought I knew I maybe didn't know as well as I should have so therefore I recommend them because I think it doesn't matter how long you've been in business or how great your business is I think everybody should have a mentor or a coach that oversees this is the second one I've done uh, with Stefan and uh, I've enjoyed this one more even though it's more involved the finance one compared to the uh, the first one. Um, I've been with Stefan for two years now, two and a half years, and what Stefan uh, puts uh, brings to the table is is invaluable. I think is the way he makes it flow, and uh, that he has the gift to be able to present it as well. He does a fantastic job. Uh, I'd recommend almost every business owner to attend the finance workshop because it covers the the key denominators of what makes the business tick, but yet what most of us actually don't know where is at at the moment. Because it is just the grassroots and everyone should know it, and I'm sure a lot of people don't.